Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing the concepts of causal and non-causal signals. So basically, a discrete time signal denoted as x of n is considered to be causal if it is defined for n greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, if x of n is causal, then x of n is equal to 0 for n smaller than 0. Okay. So, consequently, if x of n is what causal, it will be equal to 0 for n less than 0. Fine. This implies that a causal signal does not exist for negative time values. Hope it is clear to you. Now let's see a few examples for causal signals. So suppose I have x of n is equal to 1 at n is equal to 0 then minus 1, 2, minus 2 and 3. Okay. Another signal x of n is equal to okay. So, 2 at n is equal to 0, 2, 3, 1, 1 and so on. Okay. This both signals are what causal signals. Are what causal signals. Fine. Because causal signal does not exist for negative time and these two signals are not existed in the negative time domain right as well as if you see this definition so a signal x of n is said to be causal if it is defined for n greater than equal to 0 and this both the signals are defined for n greater than equal to 0 okay so these two are the examples for what causal signals i hope this much is clear to you now let's move next so, on the other hand, a discrete time signal x of n is classified as non-causal signal, okay, if it is defined for either n less than or equal to 0 or for both n less than or equal to 0 and n greater than 0. Therefore, if x of n is what? non-causal it will not be equal to 0 for n less than 0 clear this indicates that so this indicates that a non-causal signal exists in both positive and negative time domains okay hope this much is clear to you fine now let's see Example for this non causal signals. So x of n is equal to what? 2, 3, 4, 5 at n is equal to 0, 4, 3, 2. This is one example where the duration is finite, and we have another example also where the duration is infinite so 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 at n is equal to 0 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 and so on so these two signals are what called as non causal signal examples non causal signals why because both the signals exists in positive as well as in negative time domain if you see this is negative time domain it is positive time domain and both the signals are defined in this domains hope this much is pretty much clear to you fine now let's move to the next so when a non-causal discrete time signal is solely defined for n less than or equal to zero 
it is referred to as anti causal signal okay so it means an anti causal signal does not exist for positive time values fine so let's see the example for anti causal signals also so x of n is equal to what 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 at n is equal to 0 okay so this exists only for the negative time right it does not exist for the positive time so this is what an anti causal signal another example this is finite duration right now for infinite duration 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 fine so this two are what anti causal anti causal signals okay you can also call it as non causal non causal signals you have to understand one thing see all anti causal signals are by default non causal signals okay but all non causal signals are not anti causal okay if it is anti causal signal so it does not exist for positive time but if you go for non causal non causal exist in positive as well as in negative time domain also fine okay so the signal i hope you are aware about the signal u of n so the signal u of n is the example for causal signal causal signal okay whereas the signal u of minus n is an example for anti causal signal anti causal signal fine because this is defined for n smaller than equal to 0 and this is defined for n greater than equal to 0 so this is what u of n is what a causal signal u of minus n is what anti causal signal now if i told you to give an example for a non causal signal then so see suppose you have x of n which is equal to what which is equal to basically 2 for what duration n greater than equal to minus 3 2 is smaller than equal to 4 this is a perfect example for a non causal non causal signal okay why because if you see this signal it is defined for negative as well as positive time also that is why i am calling it as non causal signal i hope this is clear to you fine one last point i would like to add so a non causal signal can be transformed into a causal signal by multiplying it with a unit step signal denoted as u of n okay hope it is clear to you so in the next lecture we will see some questions based on causal and non causal signals so if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section so thanks for watching this video